Scientists say that climate change is driving increasingly frequent and increasingly severe weather events, including extreme heat events uh, and drought. And in the instance of heat waves, they're still studying exactly how climate change impacts heat events, but they think that it can affect big weather systems like jet streams, that in the case of the United Kingdom and this particular heat wave, it's moved a jet stream far north and trapped an area of high pressure over the top of the United Kingdom, which then feeds and heats itself because the ground is very, very dry and very, very warm. And the effect is like an oven until it gets simply too hot for the system to hold. And there's often a thunderstorm that breaks the cycle. So that's what's going on now. But we know that these things are going to happen more frequently and more severely in the future. Um, we know that it's going to take more and more to, be cut, to recover between these episodes. We know that it's going to get more and more expensive to adapt to extreme heat. And it's why uh, approaching not just adaptation, which is preventing people from suffering in the heat by changing working hours and changing social hours and all that kind of stuff is important alongside it the work on getting to net zero carbon emissions by 2050 is also critical because that's what will solve the problem in the first place but scientists are saying very clearly to me today that this heat problem is now here in the global north it's here in the united kingdom and no matter what we do, almost, in terms of reducing carbon emissions, the problem is going to get worse for the next 10, 20, 30 years before eventually, hopefully, we get global warming under control.